As parents, it's our job to protect our children. My parents are mermaids! He escaped when I cornered him! <laughs> I never thought it would be this easy to pretend to be human. Oh, Micah. Brother! If Pearl cries for her one true love, then she will cry the brightest of pearls. I have something important to tell you. I love you! Not so fast, brother! You're too late. been waiting for this day since forever. Today's gonna be her first day of school and she's gonna wake up a minute before 8 a.m. I just know it. <sighs> Last year was a lot for her. Since it's safe for our daughter to go to school now, I want her to be like the other girls. She can't live her life in fear for the dangers to come. We raised our little girl to face her fears after all. I am glad she's safe. But isn't it concerning that we haven't even heard a whisper about our daughter in the Seven Oceans? I am more... <sighs> okay, I think I'm just being a little too paranoid. As parents, it's our job to protect our children from all the dangers in the world. But we have to give her the space she needs to learn, grow, and experience what life has to offer. And we... Oh gosh, I was so caught up worrying about Pearl that it's already time for her to go to school. I'm gonna run in the kitchen and make her some breakfast. Can you go wake up Pearl for me? You're asking me to wake up a girl that's been waiting to go to school for a year? She's gonna come running down the stairs in a minute, unless she decided to take her sweet time just like her mother. Ha ha, and you? Don't watch TV for too long. You're addicted to that weird human thing that shows other humans on it. You'll grow old from watching TV but I have to check on the news, and we need to see what's going on in the world. Pearl must be safe, and we have to make sure that she's safe from unnecessary harm. Just because we keep her at arm's length doesn't mean that we won't protect our little Pearl. It's been a whole year. Luckily, I haven't met any bad people that wanted something from me. Maybe mom was just stressed out and I have nothing to worry about. Right, school today, and I am not going to worry about some silly bad people. I can't wait to make new friends. Pearl, breakfast is ready. Your dad is gonna drop you off at school today and I've packed your favorite peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And your backpack is downstairs as well. Coming, mom. But I still can't remember that one day at Lifetopia Beach. I know something important happened that day, but I can't remember it no matter how hard I try. Also, my parents are mermaids! I haven't talked to them about it because I don't want to put them in danger, even if it means I have to pretend. I have read every book on mermaids to find out why I can't remember the details. All I found out was that fish have a memory of only 5 seconds. I don't know if humans know how to read or write, but fish are deep, not shallow. No use thinking about it now. But what if… what if I find my prince charming today? I know I am going to school to study, but still, the love of my life could be out there! Pearl! Coming, Mom! Stop right there! Looks like they didn't tell you that fish can't climb. You can swim, but not on land. Now where is Malachite? 
He can't hide from me forever! I know you've been doing all the dirty work for him! Atlantis will show you no mercy! minutes. Don't you dare give me an excuse or I will put the crabs in your bed tonight. Do you hear me? I thought fish can't climb. Uh, what? Don't tell me. Did you see a fish climb a tree? It was Malachite's henchman. He just climbed a ladder right in front of my eyes and escaped when I cornered him. I could go after him, but then I would have to ski. No! Come to school right now! Her is going to be in class today. We should be focused on protecting her and not running off on a wild goose chase. What's got your side of the water boiling today? They haven't found Pearl yet, and her family have taken every precaution to stay away from Malachite. Do not underestimate Malachite. Uh, he's a coward. That's all talk but no action. We'll find him before he reaches Pearl. Now, stop worrying your pretty little head, sister or you'll get what these humans call wrinkles. Bye! Maybe she's just mad because she didn't see a merman climb a ladder, which is rare, mind you. Not everyone who comes to the human world can learn how to be a human in a day. Hmm, so how? Anyways, I better go to school before my sister loses the last ice cube in her head. I never knew she would start to miss me the minute that I leave her side. Oh, sister, I love you too. saying by humans the taller you are then the harder you fall the last thing we should do is be overconfident because being overconfident will drown you in the sea of reality maybe he needs a reality check since mermaids can't drown also why am i the only one in the classroom do humans have no sense of punctuality this is just ridiculous i came to class earlier than our teacher that's it i'm going to let my anger out on my brother's ears today such disrespect I swear you young folk cannot get enough of my hot scoops. But today on Channel 3 will be our hottest scoop yet. Yes, you heard that right. And it'll be presented by yours truly, Stephanie Little. We'll open up news with an icebreaker first. Remember that lifeguard that struck pearls? Today, this body was found stranded in the middle of the sea at Live Topia Beach. Eyewitnesses claim that they saw a mermaid singing a song for him before he met his end. Oh, he was so young. Young and greedy for pearls. But who cares about that, am I right? That's not what you're here for. You're here for... Oh gosh, I'm embarrassed to say this, but maybe my mermaid sisters get a little too carried away with humans. Lucas Getty in December Dark. The recent talk of the town. The buzz that is everyone at the edge of the seat, and rightfully so. Because Brookhaven will host the most expensive celebration of the century. Starring our celebrity couple. I'm sure a lot of you viewers want to go, but it'll cost you a limited kidney. They will have gold for breakfast and diamonds by dinner. That's right, folks. It's not for common folk like you and me. They are celebrating the arrival of their newborn baby girl. Now, an official name has not been decided yet, but we only have one question in the back of our minds. Will their daughter cry gold like her father, her diamonds like her mother? Find out exclusively on Channel 3 as we uncover the life of gold and diamond. That concludes our broadcast today. Now, go play Roblox or something. I wonder when my daughter will get married. I still remember the first day I met Flint. Maybe she will find her Prince Charming today. Oh, young love. I hope they reached school safely. I'll give them a call later, but for now, I'm gonna watch Luca, Moana, and The Little Mermaid. One thing humans did right is make a Disney.
<laughs> I never thought it would be this easy to pretend to be human. Did you know that humans have an attention span of just 8 seconds? If they had to guess the difference between a donkey and a monkey in 8 seconds, then they can't! <laughs> But that's just my point. They can never find out that I am a walking merman and the prince of the great city of Atlantis. <laughs> Fish, did she just hear about my grand evil plan in pretending to be a human to trick Pearl into falling for my handsome looks? I have no choice. I have to use my shiny smile on her. <clears throat> Behold my fancy teeth, humans! You're gazing upon the King of Atlantis, the ruler of the Seven Oceans, the mightiest Atlantean to ever live and grace the ocean, and the most handsome prince in the entire sea. Behold, Ed! <coughs> But my looks, my smile, you didn't let me talk about my golden smile! I cannot believe my father was so foolish to extend a hand of friendship to these disrespectful humans. Once I get my hands on the White Pearl, then I'll destroy their entire species, and then I will... I will go to class first. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on my brother's face when he realizes he cannot do anything to me once I find Pearl and take what's rightfully mine. Wait, I forgot my book for English class. No matter, it's only time before I, the greatest prince, Malachite will rewrite English books with the great history of Atlantis and my grand evil plans will be taught in the entire human world for generations. The humans will behold and marvel at how evil I am. <laughs> Was it just me or did you hear the school laughing at us because we're late? Looks like everyone is expecting you, but they don't even know how ready my little Pearl is to go to school. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. We would have been to school early if I didn't let my nerves get the best of me, but I will be fine, really. I know, you made a stop at the grocery store to get you a bottle of water. You know that you need to stay hydrated at all times, especially when you feel like you're nervous. All right. Are you sure that you'll be fine, my little Pearl? Because you look really nervous to me. <gasps> it's my first day of school. I know I am crazy excited about it, but I am also crazy nervous. I always thought about what my first day at school would be like. I don't want it too crazy or too normal. Just in the middle. Okay, you're gonna be late. We'll talk about your first day at school when you come home. Remember, be back before 6 p.m. Once it's dark, all the bad things happen in the human world. Okay, Dad. Now off you go. Yes? Did she read school? <laughs> Nervously and in one piece. <laughs> I'm glad you both read safely. I'm coming home now. Let's pick up Pearl at 6 p.m. from school. <laughs> Stay safe. Watch where you're going! Bless the darkness of the seven oceans! I found her! The daughter of the Founders, Pearl! Allow me to help you, my lady. Ugh, first day and I'm already clumsy. This is not a good sign. Pearl, ugh, why do you do this to yourself? Are you okay? Are you hurt? M -m my lady? Oh my gosh! I had only read about running into Prince Charming in books, but this is... 
No, 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 no. Uh, I am fine. Really, I am so sorry for bumping into you. The school bell just rang and I was running late, so... <laughs> you don't have to be so formal with me. I believe we're going the same way. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Micah. So kind, so gentle. Could he be? Mom, I think I just found my Prince Charming, and he is so handsome. I will do anything for him. Who thought it would be this easy to fool her? Now all I have to do is warn her about my brother and sister. Then it's all over. I win. <sighs> Oh, I'm so late. And this is going to be so mad at me for not listening to her. I didn't listen to her and chased after Malachite's henchmen. I'd better get going. Eee! This is the longest one hour of my life, but this was worth it. I can't wait to tell my mom about this. And you are? How oh, silly me. I am Pearl. The most beautiful Pearl I've ever laid my eyes on. And I have to protect you at all costs. I have something important to tell you. D -d -d Did he just call me the most beautiful pearl? Oh my gosh, my heart is about to explode. He is so romantic. Wait, what's wrong? There will be two evil people that will try to talk to you and pretend to be your friend. And they will tell you sweet lies that they're here to protect you from the greatest evil. When in fact, they are the greatest evil. I'm not telling you to trust me, but I'm warning you. Is this what my mom was talking about? The day when bad people will come into my life? She wasn't joking. She was serious. But I will protect you no matter what. I will protect you no matter how many dangers you will face in your life. Because I love you. L -l love me? Is this love at first sight? I thought it was just rubbish made by humans, but it's real. Oh, Micah. Brother! <laughs> You're too late. She loves me now, and she will listen to every word I say. Now, all that's left is to meet her at the waterfall and take her pearls forever! How dare you touch her! She- What do you think you're doing? Who are you? I'm here to protect you from him! He's evil! Do not trust a single word that comes out of his mouth! So he was right! He told me that there will be two people that will come into my life pretending to protect me! And you're one of them! W what? W wait No, you've got it all wrong- You will not lay a finger on my Prince Charming ever again! Or nobody will be worse than me! Now leave us alone, you creep! Creep? Uh, are you hurt? You. You're the one that protected me. No, it was you who protected me. Let's talk after class. We really have to go now. After you, my lady. How does it feel to be humiliated, Tanzanite? You're helpless. Powerless. And what's worse, is that you can't even lay a finger on me! <laughs> oh, spare me your evil laugh that I've heard a billion times! It echoes more than a whale in the sea! I took Atlantis away from you, and now I will take her pearls before your very eyes! There is no hope for you, brother! We will see, brother! to talk to Pearl at all costs when she's alone. That's the only way I'll get through to her. You did what? I'm sorry. I was careless and naive, and I let Malachite have the upper hand over me. I should have listened to you, sister. And how is she, Pearl? She's as amazing as the legend of Atlantis described her to be. Beautiful. Intelligent. Amazing. I fell in love with her at first sight. I am not done talking to your brother, but
but this is your chance to talk to her. She is going to the study area by herself. And Malachite? He is drunk on the belief that he has a one and is preparing the ritual at the waterfall. Once he takes Pearl there, then Atlantis will be in ruins. I'll do it. I'll talk to her. And make sure you don't mess up. I won't up. let him get the best of me a second time. If Pearl cries for her one true love, then she will cry the brightest of pearls. But if she cries for an evil heart, then she will cry the darkest of pearls and Atlantis will be destroyed. The fate of Atlantis rests in Pearl's pearls. I found my one true love. I can't wait to tell mom. Excuse me, Lady Pearl. You again! You didn't learn your- <sighs> I wanted to apologize for my behavior earlier before class. It was brash of me, and you must have thought I was full of myself. I did, but I was also rude to you. I believe we got off on the wrong foot. My name is Tanzanite, Prince Tanzanite from the Kingdom of Atlantis. What? Your life is in danger. Who you think is your one true love is actually not, and is trying to trick you. He wants to hurt you and- Enough! Please! I don't know who to trust after what I have just heard. I was told that bad people will try to trick me. How can I be sure that it's not you? Because not even in this moment have I tried to badmouth my brother, who puts sweet words in your ears to trick you. He isn't lying. The sadness in his eyes and his love for his family is true. He is so handsome too. I am confused. I'm sorry. I have to go. I'm supposed to meet Micah at the waterfall. Please don't try to follow me. Lady Pearl, please wait! Oh. I'm sorry I eavesdropped on your conversation. Are you going to laugh at me? Go ahead. No. <laughs> well done, brother. Now we know where they're meeting. She's confused in her heart and doesn't know who to trust. <sighs> Let's put an end to this. Malachite's gone too far. I will not allow him to hurt Pearl or take a single hair from her. Someone has a crush. Should I tell Dad about your human crush? Uh, how did you... You're not the only one with fishes in the sea, sister. Now, let's go save Pearl before it's too late. I have a score to settle with Malachite. just by the lake. It's all over, Pearl. I can't believe you fell for the simplest trick in the book. One true love. Nonsense. It doesn't exist. What? I never loved you. It was all a lie to get your pearls. <gasps> you knew I cried pearls? I know all about you and your family. Your family is the only one who can cry pearls. I was the one who took your mother's pearls. Just like how I will take yours. <gasps> no, you'll never! I win. I finally win! <laughs> Is already complete and I have used my dark magic to corrupt the water so you can't swim away from me I will have your pearls one way or another 
He is evil. Prince Tatsunite was right. I trusted the wrong person and I thought he was my one true love. I was wrong. I can't hold back my tears anymore. I'm about to cry. Yes, Atlantis will finally be mine. Not so fast, brother. No, 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 no. Why are you here? You came to save me? Tanzanite? I will not let anyone hurt someone as precious as you, Pearl. If I could, I would fight all the seven oceans for you. Tanzanite! He is the one! He tried to protect me, to stop me, to guide me, and to show me where I was going wrong. <laughs> Everyone wonders what true love really is, and the best part about it is that no one knows the answer, even when they think they know. Impossible! Now you'll return to Atlantis where you belong. Malachite! Father! I have watched your progress while you thought you'd trap me forever. I'm very disappointed in you. No, Father! No! I can do better! Silence! Father! <gasps> and I'm so proud of you two! The prince, princess, and king of Atlantis? Mermaids and mermen? Oh my gosh, you all are real! Real mermaids and mermen! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I treated you so horribly without knowing. It was the first time someone saw me as something other than a prince. You're not a creep. <laughs> <laughs> You've passed the trial, Queen Pearl. Then it is time that I retire and let you take over, Queen Pearl. May you guide Atlantis to a path of love and peace. And my parents? Of course. They'll be coming with us where they belong. At home. <coughs> Shall we? Yes! Human life is filled with all kinds of emotions. Different people deal with their emotions in different ways. Expressing your sadness is necessary, just like your happiness. But if you keep your sadness inside yourself for a long time, it becomes really hard to get rid of them. If you share your sad emotions with your loved ones, you can make a rainbow even with a little rain. <laughs>